Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 4 in PowerShell playlist. In this video, I wanted to discuss about variables and parameters in the PowerShell. Okay. So if you have watched my previous video, we have created a small program to print the hello world. And in that case, we have taken an input also from the user. So this is the sample code we have written in our previous video. And we declared a variable there called dollar name. Right, so that's the variable. So variables basically help us to store some data into the variable in the PowerShell scripting. Right, it is like a normal variables what you see even in the C sharp or C language. Right, so variables are like a placeholders where you can store some data. So let's try to explain this, and then we will slowly, detailly understand about parameters as well. So let me open PowerShell here from my start menu. And I wanted to open Visual Studio Code so I can type command code here and hit enter. This will help me to open the Visual Studio Code. So once I open the Visual Studio Code, let me hit this close button here and I can click this explore menu and I can open a folder. So let me hit this open folder and in my C drive, right, I have a folder. Uh, I have a folder called sample code. So let me take this folder. Let me select that folder. So technically, I am opening that sample code folder in the Visual Studio Code. You can see here, right, at the right hand side, we, we got that sample code folder opened in the Visual Studio Code. And it has two .ps1 files, right? .ps1 file means nothing but like a PowerShell scripting file. We know this from my previous videos, right? So there is a wel welcome tab which opened here. Let me close that, okay? And let me keep this window, I mean, vertically below because this is the terminal where we can actually execute the commands. So here, let's try to create a new PowerShell file. I'm hitting this new file icon and maybe I'm saying like testing. So I'm creating a file card, maybe testing.ps1. That is a PowerShell file I'm creating. And you can see right now I am under the testing.ps1 PowerShell file. This is where I can write a code. So first thing is I wanted to create the variable. To create the variable, uh, if you so, let me write a comment like creating variable. Okay. So to create a variable, right, we have to use the symbol this dollar and give a name to a variable. Maybe like same thing, name. So here, dollar name is a variable and which can hold some data. So here I can write my name like, like Mahir Basha, right? So what this particular line will do here, the value, the string value Mahir Basha will go and get store into this variable called name okay and now if i write this to i if i use this write host command let and if i simply write your your name is dollar name so whatever the value you have inside this variable that exactly same thing i am printing it here for that i am using the write host command and using double quotes here to do that so let me hit Control s to save this powershell file now here below in the terminal right let me say this clear now in this terminal right now this terminal is inside c sample code folder so inside that folder only we have this testing.ps1 file so to run this powershell file i can simply type that uh, file name hit the tab so testing.ps1 when i hit enter right automatically if you observe the results it is printing your name is Mahir Basha. So here, wherever we have that dollar name, it is getting replaced with that value Mahir Basha there, right? So how that is happening? Because this dollar name is variable and that variable has the value. Okay. But uh, uh, and make a note of this. We, we used this in the double quotes. Okay. So what will happen if I use it in a single quote? So I will use single quote here. Your name is then dollar name and I'm using a single quote there. Let me save this. And let me rerun this PowerShell file. Now, if you observe the results, it says your name is dollar name only. So instead of dollar name, it should print Mahir Basha, right? But it printed dollar name. So why that is happening is when we use single quotes, right? Then what PowerShell will does, even if we have used some variable inside of it, it will treat that variable as a uh, literal only. That means it will not treat it as a variable or a parameter to take a value from it, it will treat it as a literal only. So when it treat as literal, automatically it will print the exactly same thing, whatever you have written there. 
so but when you use a double quotes so instead of single quotes if i use double quotes and if i save and if i run this code once again here in the terminal this time instead of printing the variable name as it is it printed the value mahir basha why because when you use double quotes the variables or parameters will get interpreted accordingly it will print the values as well but what if if i want message like uh, not like this so i want message like this value value in dollar dollar name is dollar name so what i want is i want to print is value in so here it should print dollar name as it is but here it should print the actual value of the dollar name so is that possible let me save these changes and let me run so when i run this if you observe the result both the times it printed mahir basha and mahir basha why because i used the code in the double quotes and wherever it sees the variable it will simply print that variables but i want this variable should be treated as a literal but this variable should be taken for the value so how to tell that so i can use this black tick when i use the black tick along with that variable right it will treat as a literal even inside the double quotes and it will print the variable name as it is let me save these changes and now when i run this code you can see the output now it printed value in dollar name is mahir basha right so it is able to do that so that's what variables and how we can use this single quotes and double quotes and how to work with them when you are using variables in it okay and another thing which i wanted to cover in this video is about the parameters so how to create a parameters and what is the parameter means variable is make sense variable is the thing in which you can put some data and use it right what is the parameter means parameter is the one which can take the data so what it means is for example in this code whenever i run this uh, testing.ps1 it will always print like value in name is this one okay so meaning this is a variable and value became static here so if tomorrow i wanted to print here like maybe abdul wafa then i have to change the code so here i have to say like abdul wafa and i have to change this code and then i have to run this code so then only it will change so whenever i wanted to send some different value into the variable i have to actually practically make that change and then save the file and then rerun then only it will work otherwise it will not work but what if i want to get the flexibility where during run time automatically i i have to pass the value into that particular variable so i should not go and change the file i should not go and change the value i should be able to supply the value for that particular placeholder run time when i am running that particular uh, powershell file that time i should be able to do that so how to get that flexibility so to get that flexibility you have to create this dollar name as a parameter not as a variable so when you do that during run time when you are running the powershell file you can pass value to the parameters accordingly and same thing reflect as per the logic in the powershell file so let me do that changes so what i will be doing i am creating a new file so i am like testing 1.ps1 so that's the file name i am keeping it okay and let's take this code from here control c and let me paste it here so as i said it is a variable now so i don't want this as a variable i want it as a parameter so to create it as a parameter i have to use this param keyword and with the open bracket and a close bracket and inside that i can keep the parameters it can be more than one also so in this case i can keep only one parameter which is dollar name uh, that is enough now whatever the value it came here that's what i am printing it using this write dot host so let me save these changes now uh, what i will be doing instead of testing i will run testing one dot ps1 file okay so let me do one thing so let me clear everything here and then rerun it so i am clearing this console so now i am i want to run testing one dot ps1 file so this is what i want to run and when you have to run it right so there is a parameter in that particular uh, powershell file right so that parameter name is name so use this hyphen then name then supply value to it so maybe i want to supply like mahir basha okay so now let's hit enter now if you see what happened i am executing this testing1.ps1 file and there is a parameter called name 
so that's why i am using that hyphen name because for that parameter i have to supply the value and i am supplying value mahir basha so automatically this value will go and land into this name variable and the same will get print here okay so that's what it happened it printed that mahir basha here okay so tomorrow when i am re-executing it instead of mahir basha i will supply like maybe abdul wafa so when i hit enter now it will print that the value in the name variable is abdul wafa so how that magic is happening because now i created something called a name parameter and to that parameter i am supplying the value this gives me the flexibility if i wanted to have the more parameters so i can do this first name one parameter maybe then another parameter maybe like a second name okay so i can use this comma separated value and he, 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 here i can print like maybe your full name is dollar first name okay any me right comma dollar last name let me like not second name last name okay so let me use this last name as a variable so let me copy this variable name and let me paste it here so sorry parameter name okay so now two parameters we created it and when i am running the code i should pass two parameter values so first name is maybe shake okay and let me name this is it is not name it is first name okay then hyphen last name okay so last name is i want to pass maybe mahir okay and when i hit enter you see that it printed your full name is mahir sheikh mahir right so it is able to print the details accordingly right so i can create more than one parameters as well and parameters will give the flexibility to send the values but what if if i don't send anything so let me do one thing so let me remove this and let's make the code little easy so i'm just keeping one parameter and here i will say like your name is then simply dollar name that is enough okay so dollar name so let me save this and uh, let's try to run this code first uh, and uh, it is testing one dot ps1 then hyphen name and to the name i am passing mahir basha okay and hit enter so our code is working fine so what if if i don't pass this so i will remove all this so i will simply say like testing one dot ps1 and when i hit enter it just printed your name is empty why because what happened is when you don't supply anything a empty a null value will go there that's what it printed so but if i had some value here maybe like some default value so i say like a b c d is a default value now if i run this code let's observe what will happen so i am running it without passing anything so it printed a b c d now i will run by passing some value okay see i am passing some value and when i hit enter see it printed value so basically by declaring the values like this i am able to uh, tell that okay take this default value if nothing was given so that's what i am able to tell that it's a default value declaration but what if i want to make sure mandatory okay there is no default value but if somebody runs it right so for example if somebody runs it now without passing the value it is just printing and it is not making sense actually so somehow i want to ask the user to it is a mandatory field supply some value to it so if you want to do that you can use there is something called parameter there is something called this parameter uh, decorative okay so let me so let me remove all this it's this is all unnecessary came so there is something called parameter declarative decorative for this parameter decorative i can tell that it's a mandatory field so when i say this right so i saved the changes now when i run this without supplying any value to the parameter and when i hit enter it shows an error that supply the value for the following parameter which is name because without supplying i cannot run it so i will supply like maybe mahir and when i hit enter that's when the code executed and it actually printed the output there okay so this is how we can supply the values also and we can make sure it's a mandatory parameter before running the code we can make sure it has a mandatory parameter even that is also possible okay so these are all the main things which i wanted to discuss in today's video i hope you got an idea like what is variable and what is parameter and how to make the parameters mandatory and uh, why the parameters are helpful to make the partial file more flexible to send the values dynamically so i hope you got a better idea this will help you when you are continuing the powershell scripting journey 
so thank you for watching this video if you like the video please hit the subscribe button for more such related content thank you so much have a nice day